Welcome. I'm Alice Alicia Jones, and this is another one of my Living Consciously videos. Uh, today's topic um, was very meaningful because effectively I had something happen this week that pinpoints exactly what the title is. And it's basically about perception again. Perception is a part of each one of us, but we perceive things through our own filters. And what happened to me was that a friend called me up and said that, and, and it's a friend that I see very rarely, but anyway, she said uh, she was moving and in the process of moving, she found a $45 check that I had given her and she had never cashed it and would it be okay to, to cash it? And I said, well, um, and, and bear in mind, this check was from a number that I knew was at least three years old. So I, without stopping to say, let me think about it, without stopping to evaluate it, immediately I said, oh yes, there's no problem cashing that check because I don't have um, any kind of statement on my bank account that says void after a certain length of time. And that evening, as I was falling asleep, I started to think about the dates and I realized that the check was written in the early 2020s. Well, and then I started to think about what happened in the early 2020s. COVID hit. And everything shut down. And then I started to think about what did I do with her in 2020? I had gone to a, an outing that was a part of Arlington County's um, offerings to their senior citizens. And as a result, you could do lovely things through Arlington County's um, offerings at a, uh, a reduced price, but every, everything was uh, you know, calculated. And so we went on one outing and it was, it was just beautiful. But effectively, then it dawned on me that the purpose of the check was to sign up for a one-year membership to Arlington County so that I could select my own um, outings without having to rely on her. And as I thought about it, I thought, but I never went because that program shut down. So effectively, the she didn't cash the check because the program was no longer being offered and for the balance of the year and obviously the next year and the next year. So I never resumed that. And I know the kind of person that I am. If I have a check outstanding, I, I'll carry it over from year to year. If it hasn't been cashed, no matter what it was, I will, and how much it was, I will carry it over. So I'm not the kind that just says, oh, well, this hasn't been cashed in a while, so therefore it's not going to be cashed. Um, because I have discovered that people do sometimes put in um, a check a year later. In this case, it was almost three years or more than three years, actually. So anyway. The point that I want to make from that particular incident is that when you're faced with something, instead of reacting to it quickly, which most of us have a tendency to do, I certainly do, I immediately have an answer. Instead of doing that, the best thing to do is just to say, let me think about it. Step back, take a day or two. Think about what the request is that's being made of you. 
because that will give you the time to put the request in perspective and to evaluate it and to see if it's right for you. I do know that one of the ways that this has also affected me is that I keep getting clients that come to me with problems that a psychiatrist would evaluate as schizophrenic thinking and would be dismissive of the person and immediately want to uh, diagnose them and give them pills. I've had enough experience with this to know that are there things out there that are happening that are out of control? Are there things out there? Is there any validity to conspiracy theory? Absolutely, there is. There's always a measure of truth, a grain of truth in everything that you see. I know in recently what one man, as he came to me and he said, you know, I saw you a couple months ago and I didn't remember the conversation. And he said, but he said, the advice that you gave me was really great. And uh, so we just sat down and again, I asked him for permission to say my prayer of connection. This is where I ask myself through my higher self to be connected to God, through their higher self to my personality self. So it's effectively, I need to have a chain of command that goes through the highest beings of light. That's all I'm interested in gathering. I don't ask for anybody who's in the neighborhood. I don't ask for a person's ancestors. Occasionally, somebody does want messages from somebody who passed. That's different. In this case, my prayer of connection is, Dear Mother, Father, God, Divine, Infinite Spirit, source of all that is. I ask to be connected to you, God, through my higher self, to the higher self of the person present. I ask for the assistance of the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the Reiki masters, but most especially Master Jesus. And then I list a litany of other extremely high beings of light that I'm interested in working with. And I end with the great rays, the lords and masters of the rays and the archangels of the rays. So that I feel confident by asking for that kind of assistance that I also get the protection of the highest beings of light. Incredibly enough, as I was talking as I was saying the prayer of connection to this, for this gentleman, all of a sudden I go blank. And I barely reached, I asked for the assistance of the angels, archangels, and then it was like a cleaver went down and I had no memory. I had zero memory of what I wanted to say, what it was that, um, I was going to ask next, and I just sat there very quietly until the memory came back. I didn't get hysterical. I didn't go into a fear space, but I just sat there very, very quietly. The memory came back, and lo and behold, a second time that happened. I'm getting to the end of the prayer, and again, a cleaver goes down, and the uh, I, I have absolutely zero clue of what I want to say next. This is a prayer I have said 
thousands of times. Thousands of times. I know that prayer, inside out, backwards, forwards. Um, it's it's a part of my life. So I fin and again, I just sit quietly. I get I manage to finish the end of the prayer. And the first thing I say to him, are you being attacked by powerful beings that are trying to block you from your own, um, the, the good that is coming to you? And he goes, oh, absolutely. And then he goes on and tells me the nature of those attacks. And so I discuss that with him. And I know in the past when I have had people with similar type of situations, again, because of the way I ask to be connected to God, I know that none of my answers are coming from any part of my personality self. It's coming through the chain of command that I've asked for, my higher self through God to their higher self. So I feel that my answers are coming from their higher self. And I was able to effectively help him. And I asked him at the end, I was able to give him some protection devices. And I asked him, Do, is, has this been helpful? And he goes, oh, yes. And uh, so anyway, I just want you to know that if you're experiencing something that is absolutely out of the ordinary and you're almost afraid to discuss it with anybody because you're afraid they're going to call you think that you're absolutely losing your mind um there is an answer. There is a solution. There is help for you. Because there are things that are happening on this planet that most people are not aware of. And they're not very good things. And I know that I am upbeat and positive And I always come from a place of positive energy, but for whatever reason, this needed to be brought forward today. And um, it was interesting because the topic that I'm going to cover uh, next week is related to this, but it is about a dream that has reoccurred two times. It's the identical dream, and it's about me protecting myself by getting out of a situation, but how I protect myself is I become invisible. So I need some more information on this. I don't have enough, and I know it's all done with vibration. It's just like the blades of a fan. When they're still, you can see them. When it's on low, you can see the blades. When you put it on medium, sure, you can still see them. You put it on high, there's no blades. You do not see the blades because the vibration is so high. The frequency is so high. So this is the same thing. And for whatever reason, I am supposed to cover this uh, next week because, like I said, our earth is going into a place of higher vibration each time. But those who subscribe to a lower vibration are doing their utmost to hold us back, to hold us from achieving our highest potential. So we need to be aware 
of the fact that that can be done. That, and if if what just happened to me this past week, in or this past month, I should say, it was a couple of weeks ago, um, the in just sitting quietly and not reacting in fear to what was happening to me, to the fact that my mind went blank, not reacting in fear, not giving in to that type of emotion, that is key. And if you want to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about, how fear is the food of the realm of those who wish to control us, then there are movies out there. They're fairly old. Um, They're at least 20 years old, um, maybe more. But one is called The Matrix and one is called Men in Black. And I think there's, I think The Matrix has several versions. Um, Matrix 1, 2, and 3, I'm not sure. I, I, uh, and Men in Black, I think, has one and two. I'm not sure um, because I haven't seen them in a long, long time. But boy, did they make an impression on me. And um, I think in The Matrix, Keanu Reeves is the star of that. And uh, very every single word he utters means something, has a double meaning. So if you watch it, I encourage you to sit there, take down the words he says particularly, and meditate on them because uh, very, very important. I will see you next week. And again, if you need more information on what I do, the readings I offer, the Reiki classes I teach, the other offerings that I have, my website is Alicia, A L I C J A, Jones.com. And if you need a meditation book, there's none better than Own Your Power Day by Day. It took 16 years to come to the planet, actually 20, because I just let it sit for four years after. I have fully edited it, and um, but it's the best book on every single day's lesson. You read two pages a day, so it takes you a year to get through, but the beauty is people have used it in multiple ways. They've used it like an oracle, just getting the message for the day. Or they've used it, and at the end of the year, they just start it up again and start it up again and start it up again. So I I hope to see you next week. I'm very grateful for those who are watching. And uh, please know that there are those that do not have humanity's interest at heart. They want only one thing. Power over. Control. Power over. So we absolutely have the right to own our own power. Own our power. We are the most powerful creations of God. But we have free will to say no to God. And we don't have any compunction about saying no to God. It seems to be just a, uh, uh, a thing that humanity does. And because, in a sense, people live by remote control. And instead, I encourage you to live by your own choices and hopefully choices of high vibration. Thank you again, and I'll see you in one week's time.